Hello, this is Springbok, and I was going to make a very simple video for you. I'm going to write down some words here on my pad, and then I'm just going to say them to you sometimes in this ear. And sometimes in this one. And I'll write the words down here on the pad as I say them. And I must apologize for my my bad handwriting and my shaky hands. And also for the very simple video. But I haven't been feeling very well. And the best way for me to feel better is to try to make you feel good. So thanks for being my medicine. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna pick random words that I like the sound of. No big, fussy, or impressive words. Just simple ones. Like... Like the word button. 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 Some people say that I say this word funny. Button. I'm not sure why. button because it makes me think of clothes. It's a closure for clothes. I also like the word kitten. Kitten. Just like button, button, kitten, and the word kitten makes me think of the word whisker. Whisker is a nice word. Whisker. 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 I love whiskers on kitten with eyes that look like buttons. I also like the word Tusk 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 I said the word tusk a lot 
in a video I made recently and I realized how much I like the sound of it. Tusk. Tusk. It made me think of this word, which isn't really pronounced quite the same. It's like brusque. Slant rhyme. Slant. I also like the word. Whisk. 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 It makes me want to make breakfast. Whisk you away. Right now, I'd like to whisk you away to somewhere really nice. And nobody there will speak to you brusquely. <laughs> and there will be lots of kittens with lots of whiskers. I also like the word rush 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 some of these words have something called assonance and some of these words have something called Consonants Assonance Means shared vowel sounds Like button Tusk Brusque Or rush And some have consonants Which means Shared consonants like t, t, or sk, 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 sk. Things like assonants and consonants help blend words together. They help create a music to words and maybe sometime I'll teach you a little bit about how this works in, in poetry or in rhetoric, but for now, just more words. Sometimes, when your mind is unquiet, you just 
just have to say, hush. You have to say, I love you, mind. But right now, I need you to hush so that I can sleep. So that I can be whisked away to somewhere nice. Somewhere where I might see a puppy. Puppy, 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 puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. puppy. I'm sure. Most of you like puppies. Most people do. Some animals can be loud, though. So, I was thinking also of this word. Caterwaul. I don't know what made me think of that word, but even though it means a lot of noise, the sound of the word itself is somewhat lovely. Caterwaul. Caterwaul. Tomorrow you can say this to someone. Say, oh, quit your caterwaul. I've had enough of your caterwauling. I think it'll be funny. <laughs> Husk. Husk is a word that sounds like tusk or brusque. Husk. Husk. We take the last part of puppy and we put it here. We have husky, which is one of my favorite kind of puppies. A husky puppy. Husky. Husky puppy. Husky puppy. Sometimes people also make fun of the way I say certain contractions. Like couldn't or Wouldn't, couldn't, wouldn't, couldn't, wouldn't, or something like shouldn't, shouldn't, couldn't, wouldn't, shouldn't. These aren't everyone's favorite words to hear all the time, huh? But 
I still like the sound of them. Couldn't, wouldn't, shouldn't. These are all words of caution, I suppose. And caution is not my favorite thing. Caution. Caution. I like the word cushion. 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 I like to sit on a big, fluffy cushion. Settings of jewelry, which I think is funny. When we say cushion, the cushion, cushion, cushion. And I like cushions on a big, comfy couch. On a nice couch. sofa 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 is a word that mm, that my grandmother would use she'd say come sit on the sofa and come get ready for supper 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 is a funny word say it much. Supper. 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 <laughs> but I kind of like the thought of supper because you come to sup. <laughs> sup. What a funny word. Sup. You could say it like slang. Sup. <laughs> Meaning, what's up? You could say, Sup. How you doing? Sup. I think it's, it's a funny thing to say because I think it's a little outdated now. Sup. Be polite. I actually 
actually think it should be higher. Like, you go up, up at the end. Ka, ka. <laughs> I, I don't speak. Uh, I don't speak Thai quite right. I speak it like a, a farang. I call farang. Someone who isn't native Thai. Farang. It's pretty obvious. But I like to say thank you in whatever language I can. Uh, so you could say messy. You could say messy. If you were in France or Canada. If you were in certain parts of Canada. Canada. I like the word. I like the name. I like the country. Canada. 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 Or you could say Aku if you were in Cambodia. I like learning to say hello and learning to say thank you in different parts of the world. Anyway. So, let's go over some of these fun words. Mm. Button. Check. Kitten. Whisker, whisker, whisker. I'm going to whisper about whiskers. Whiskers. Tusk, tusk. Sounds kind of like brusque, which is a slant, a slant. Right. And then we said whisk, 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 rush, rush, rush. Rush is a movie that I liked mostly about Nikki Lauda. And James Hunt. Lauda. Nikki Lauda. Nikki Lauda. Nikki Lauda. Still in Formula One on the Mercedes team. Nikki Lauda. And James Hunt. Anyway, there's a movie called Rush. Which kind of sounds like hush. And hush is what I hope your mind is doing. Just say hush, hush. Hush, hush, mind. It's time to get ready for bed. <laughs> hush also sounds like mush. I guess if you had some sled dogs that were puppies, you would say mush, mush, mush. Caterwaul. Caterwaul. The word that doesn't really fit in here. Husk. 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 Couldn't. Wouldn't, shouldn't, or words of caution. Proceed with caution, or don't, because sometimes you shouldn't listen to people who say couldn't and wouldn't. 
cushion 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 sounds like pushkin 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 I think is how you spell the name pushkin I'm probably wrong I have a USB drive made by Mushkin 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 And I like Mushkin The USB drive Mushkin Couch Which is also called a sofa A sofa And if you say sofa You might also say things like Supper Supper Where you go to Sup Or you might be cool And so you say Sup To your friends But you might also say Hey 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 So Thank you For listening to my simple, silly words. I hope that maybe it's helped to clear your mind and I hope you know that I love you all. So if no one's told you I love you yet today, I love you. That may seem silly, since we may never have met. But I love you for being the kind of person who likes the way words sound. And for being the kind of person who seeks comfort in such a nice, genuine, healthy way. And now make sure that when you see somebody you love, no matter what words you say, you make sure to say these ones, okay? Because they're the best words. Or maybe you'll say, Te amo. Or, Je t'aime. However you say it, I hope you say it a lot. And I hope you sleep really, really, really well if you're trying to sleep. And if you're trying to take on the world, then I hope you do. And I always say, if you're going to take on the world, make sure to take in the world, too. Okay. Bye, everyone.